What is up YouTube? Ruben here and today I'm going to show you guys the Acer Chromebook 11 CB3111. Now this is an 11 inch Chromebook from 2014 and it was designed to run well you know what it's Chrome OS so yeah we're doing another Chromebook review now in a different system. So Let's talk about Chromebooks. So it all started way back in like 2010 when Chromebooks started to exist. Which would eventually be netbooks that were running Windows at the time. Mainly Windows 7 Starter. So what they did is they actually used Intel processors and different manufacturers like Dell, Acer, and HP they actually made Chromebooks uh, too well besides Acer because that's what you're looking at the Acer Chromebook 11 and it still continues to this day where it gets updated every time so and as always, uh, as you may be able to tell about Chromebooks, it is basically a uh, web only, but you can run it on, uh, well, you can run it offline, so, yeah. And as you will see in this video, uh, I will demonstrate some of the offline apps, so, yeah. So, let's get this started. So, on the front, there's pretty much nothing. We'll get to the inside later, because uh, when I open, well, as usual, when you open up the uh, Chromebook, it will automatically power on. Just powered it off uh, before actually making this video. So on the left, we have the headphone jack, one USB 2.0 port, and a Kensington lock, and then. On the back, we have the HDMI port and the charging port right here. And then on the right, we have one USB 3.0 port, a full size micro SD, well, full size SD card reader, not a micro SD card, of course. And that was pretty much it. And then Inside, oh, and on the top, which is actually right here, we got the Chrome logo and the designation along with the Acer logo, and that was pretty much it. And also, you'll get on the top, which is also visible when opened, we have the power indicator and the battery indicator. Now, let's get to the inside. So, right here, we got the webcam and the actual light and the microphone is surprisingly actually over here it's kind of a weird way they actually did this putting the microphone all the way towards the side which is not what I'm expecting but again it is what it is and yes you can't see the hole and then we have the 11.6 inch screen right here and then we got the keyboard. Now this is your usual keyboard right here. Then we got the Intel inside sticker right here. And then the touchpad. So now let's get to the specs. So it has a 2.16 gigahertz Intel Celeron N2830. And this is a Bay Trail processor. So it obviously has Bay Trail graphics. This one has 2 gigs of RAM and a 30, actually a 16 gigabyte SSD. Now, it's running uh, Chrome OS 93. And originally came with Chrome OS 72. When I got this at the yard sale for just a buck, believe it or not. This is, a, this is actually the cheapest Chromebook I actually bought. 
Just one buck. Yeah, believe it or not. Yeah, one buck for this Chromebook. Which is a steal right there. So yeah. I updated it to Chrome OS 93, of course. And it looks very impressive. So I can expect to see 4 gigs of RAM, but you know, it is what it is. Well, let's go ahead and power it on. As you can see, it's running Chrome OS. This is version 93. So, yeah. And as you can see, this is the login screen right here. And, whoops, and now that I have my own Chromebook, unlike the other one that was owned by the school back then, we have shutdown, of course. We also have browsers, guests, and add person. And then, of course, to your right, we have the actual notification center, along with some controls like Wi Fi, Bluetooth, accessibility, and the keyboard layout. And now, let me log into the account. Well, my account, so let's do the crazy can thing that I'm pretty sure is somewhat gonna be a break. So let's go ahead and log in and you don't need to see the password. As you can see uh, I'm in the desktop now so let's go ahead and open up Chrome. Well it already did when I logged in so as you can see, we're running Chrome OS 93, build 4577.85. And notice that's not the screen flickering, that's actually the phone actually making a screen flicker because of the refresh rate. So, yeah. Going to the Files app, we can see that we well, got 9.1 gigs available and it is a 16 gigabyte SSD and it is EMMC so yeah unless you're using uh, the guest account which has less storage now let's go to Chrome system I expect the birds to be heard on the outside because there's like parrots coming by for migration so yeah now if we go to CPU info as you can see it's running an Intel Celeron N2830 running at 2.16 gigahertz again it has 2 gigs of RAM and a 16 gig SSD and now let's go to the GPU side of things. As you can see, it's running the Intel HD graphics. It's Bay Trail, so yeah, and I think it's uh, I think it's like 32 megabytes. So yeah, well, let's go ahead and pause this. So I'll be back. Now to demonstrate how. Uh, I'm gonna do offline use because obviously uh, I can only do the offline method because there's no internet connection here. This house is not even built for internet, so yeah. And the only site I can open offline is YouTube, so yeah. Now let's open up some Chrome apps and extensions, and not to duplicate the new tab. Now, let's go ahead and run the office editing software, so let's do a Word document. Now we're going to type in, hello. Now 
Okay, we're going to increase the size to 96. I'm going to bold it, italicize it, underline it, and I do not think there's a strike through. No. Okay. Let's set the text color to like red. Set the highlight color to like blue. And there we go. So yeah, that's uh, creating a document in uh, Office Editing for Docs, Sheets, and Slides. So, there we go. Now let's open up the camera app, which I'm pretty sure uh, may not be good quality for what we're looking at. So yeah, and you can see me, uh, hello. So yeah, the, the quality is not great, of course. So, yeah. Now, there is the text app, it's just a uh, notepad, so it's basically notepad, except uh, it has line numbers right here, like you can see number one, right there, so yeah. Let's go ahead and close out of Chrome, so there you go. And there is a help app right here, or the Explore app rather, where it can unlock the amazing capabilities of the Chromebook. Which of course, uh, it's nothing super special, it's self-explanatory, so yeah. I still have the Files app open. So let's go ahead and I go to the conclusion. Well, in conclusion, is it worth it? You can say yes, because obviously uh, there's no lag or any issues that you may experience with. And besides, uh, it is a lightweight OS, so you, I could say yes, but here's the catch with this Chromebook. Now, it stopped getting updates uh, in September 2021. And the last version to actually run this is Chrome OS 93. So, that's pretty much what you're going to expect with this Chromebook. Uh, except, you'll be getting uh, notifications about the final update for this Chromebook. So, yeah. But again, it is a lightweight OS, so expect to see... A better performance on this Chromebook so yeah and the Acer Chromebook is pretty much not bad in fact the the battery life is much better so uh, a few hours uh, less than what it was expected I think back then you would get like seven or eight hours of battery life I think now you may only get about five or six hours of battery life so yeah it all depends on the activity that you're doing on the Chromebook so yeah so that was pretty much it for the review of the Acer Chromebook 11 CB3 111 so thank you guys for watching please be sure you hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the bell icon when I upload new videos also follow me on Twitter at RivenUpTheDiesel17, which is pretty much nothing but no likes and whatever it is. And you can also follow me on Instagram at RivenUpTheTransitFan, or if you want to see some transit content like USC pretty much on a daily basis, you can also follow me on Ruben's Transit Hub, and I also do other videos too, like not just tech videos or mostly transit related but I do other stuff too like movies well the art night movie events that didn't go well because of you know who COVID so yeah but that's pretty much it for the review of this Acer Chromebook 11 CB3111 
So, I'll see you next time.